In this tutorial, I want to talk about the command programming pattern. It's more of an idea than a programming pattern because there are many ways to implement it, but this is the tool we use in the OpenRPG to create composable and reusable commands that you can put on the characters, be it outside of combat, like we are here on the local map, or in combat. We just added that and I wanted to show you that. In the description, you will find a link to the comment page on the Game Programming Pattern free online book. It will explain you how the pattern works and give you a few use examples. But in short, the idea is you take a function and you turn it into an object. So you take a, an action that a character would do in your game or a menu or something like that, and you turn it into an object or a node in Godot so that you can store it in a variable. This is how, for example, we have an NPC here and it has an actions node under which you will find two actions. First, you run a dialogue and then you start combat. This is similar to how you would have events in RPG Maker. For example, you have one line after the other like that, and this is what our action nodes do. Now, if I launch the game, you will see that as we walk next to that character, the dialogue starts, so we can play the dialogue, and when it's done, the code will run the next action, which is start combat, and this starts an encounter. Now in the project, we have a map action base class that these dialogue and start combat nodes inherit from. So I'm going to open it in the script editor. And it's fairly simple, but that is the common pattern in this case. You can make it more complex than that. You can make it simpler than that, but this is how we are using it. So this interface, this is a base class that you are supposed to extend. And this just makes sure that Every node that uses that is a map action has this initialized method, has access to the local map. The local map is the map, a level, any level, basically, and it connects the individual NPCs to, for example, the UI to open a dialog box, or it can send a signal that you encountered a monster and you want to start combat. Then all the commands have an interact method, and this is the method that will be called when you interact with an NPC. And this one is going to stop and stop the execution on the character until the interaction is finished. So it will wait for the dialogue to finish in the case of a dialogue, or wait for combat to finish in the case of combat. So I'm going to remove the search in the file system and go down to the dialogue action to show you how it works and why that pattern is interesting. So we have one function to load a dialogue that you reference on this node. This is a JSON file that contains the name of the characters and what they are saying. So this allows us to run the various lines of dialogue one after the other in a sequence. Then the interact method, we override it from map action that I just showed you. And this one is going to use a coroutine, a yield, to wait for the dialogue to finish. So it loads the dialogue from the file path that you provide in the inspector. And then it tells the local map, please play this line of dialogue or play this dialogue. And I'm going to wait for you to complete in that function. And then the interaction is finished. We can go to the next one on our example. NPC here. The next one is start combat, so the start combat action. And this one is even shorter because we don't need extra code to load or process anything. We ask the local map to start the encounter, so the monster that we encountered on this node, and we wait for the combat to be finished. That's it. Now we can add new actions like these, new objects that you can put on any NPC. You can think of actions like loot item on a chest, so you, you receive some item. You can think of um, open the shop, for example, if you want to create a merchant. So as we add new features to OpenRPG, we will add also new map actions like these. That was just a short tutorial, but uh, that said, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.